Welcome to the Monday Masterclass where we start out with a short talk, a little bit of Ayurveda. And I really like to combine the yoga and the Ayurveda so that we know that yoga is a treatment. Yoga is a way for us to manage what's going on in our body. Uh, we are actually dealing with a pretty windy day. So our practice today is going to be doing a couple of things. Um, we're talking about conjunctivitis. Okay. That's what we're going to talk about as far as how Ayurveda deals with conjunctivitis. Okay. Pink eye. And conjunctivitis is actually a pitta condition. And we are moving into warmer temperatures because it's summertime. And it's involving inflammation and conjunctivitis means conjuncta. It's that's the part of the eye that it's specifically talking about. It's the conjunctiva, the junctiva part of the eye. And it makes the eyes red and also sensitive. There can be burning. Sometimes there's gook that forms. You can wake up in the morning and your eye can be completely shut from the discharge that starts building up. So oftentimes there is a discharge. I wanna remind you that if the discharge has color, that means it's even more pitta. So sometimes the discharge can be clear and white, and sometimes it will be having some color. And the more color it has in it, the more pitta is showing up in that condition. If it's clear, that's gonna be more vata. And if it's white, that's gonna be more kapha. That's how we start to recognize what's going on. So Ayurveda has a lot of different ways of dealing with conjunctivitis or pink eye. First of all, you can take cilantro, which by the way, cilantro is very cooling. We use cilantro a lot for infections. If you have infections internally, we will recommend that you go down and you buy yourself some organic cilantro leaves. You put them in your blender and you add a little bit of water and you drink it. It starts to cool down the tissues. Cilantro leaves or taking the pulp of the cilantro and you actually um, place it on your closed eyes. And what it does is it starts to soothe out the, the heat and removes the heat and also you, like I said, you can drink it. That will also help. Coriander, which by the way, coriander and cilantro are on the same plant. If you continue to let cilantro grow in your garden, it will grow and it will form these flowers. The seeds of the flower are the coriander seeds. So cilantro and coriander are the same plant. I don't know why they have different names, but they do. So you take the coriander, the seeds, and you can make a wash. The way that you make a wash is you take, you steep one teaspoon of coriander seed into a cup of boiling water and you let it steep for at least 15 minutes, strain it and let it cool. And then you put it, you use the water and you wash it over the, the eyes. I would recommend that you get an eye cup you, you can get them in those washes, the eye washes at the drugstore. They'll come with the wash usually and then the little cup. That's the only way I've been able to get the cups. You get the cup and you can do the coriander eye wash. And it's great because it's okay if you get it in your eyes, it's gonna cool down all that pitta, all that heat in the eyes. Goat's milk, believe it or not, you can use goat's milk and make a compress or you can take just cloth, clean cloths, and you soak it in goat's milk and you place it over the eyes, okay? You wanna make sure that you're, you can also use cotton balls, by the way, and you just dip in the cotton balls in the goat's milk and you just kind of pat it over the eye. Goat's milk is great for the infection and again, for cooling down the heat. There's certain remedies that we're wanting to make sure that we're using ones that are gonna cool down that pitta. An herbal remedy that you can use is also um, sometimes rose water 
is very good because rose water is also cooling and you can use it as a wash. And how do we um, actually heal it? This is what Ayurveda does. We have antibiotic herbal remedies and you can take turmeric, a turmeric, make a turmeric solution. So when you make the turmeric solution, you're gonna wanna make sure that when you use um, your, your container and also the stuff that you're gonna dip into this solution, it's gonna get stained. So just be aware of that. So you take the turmeric solution and you stir in a few ounces with water, make sure it's purified clean water. And then you take like a, like a tissue or a, um, a clean piece of cloth and you dip it in there and then you let it dry. So you let it dry and then you mop it. You basically mop it over the eyes, the infected eye. It's a natural antiseptic. It's got antibiotic properties and the turmeric will also take care of the bacteria and facilitate and encourage healing. Another herbal um, antibiotic remedy that you could take internally as well as doing the uh, cilantro juice is one part turmeric, one part neem, and one part magista, okay? You just mix them together. You put it in a, a half a teaspoon with warm water. You stir it and you drink it twice a day. Okay, and you do want to take that after meals. So those are the things that you can do. Uh, they do recommend that you want to see the doctor if the conjunctivitis is not cleared up within like three to four days. So if it's not clearing up, then you know, in Ayurveda, we always recommend that you do go and see your regular doctor. Okay, so that's what you do for pink eye or conjunctivitis. Most all of these things that we're dealing with, there's lots of ways of using remedies and Ayurveda has tons of ways of dealing with them. Okay, so if you have questions, you can reach out to me, uh, either email me or you can contact me um, on my website through my telephone number as well.